Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am on Dartmoor in a, a little wood that uh, my friend and I, Dave, um, we often visit. We've come down today hoping for a bit of mist, but uh, it, 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 uh, it's there and thereabouts, but there's no like heavy fog or anything like that. But uh, I've walked up to the top of this, this wood well, most of them, if I'll look around now, you can see where I am. So I'm about three quarters of the way up. Uh, I didn't really want to go all the way to the top. Um, Dave's gone up there thinking there might be a sunrise, but I don't think there's gonna, it's gonna happen. But um, I've photographed this little area before, but I didn't really explore it fully. So I'm sort of, sort of hanging around this area at the minute for the next sort of hour or so. The light is very flat. There's not a huge amount of wind, but there is a little bit. Um, so it's it's tricky to get a shot when nothing is uh, nothing is a little bit blurred. There's some like odd branches moving, but you just gotta you just gotta go with the flow on that. Unfortunately, the colours are amazing. Uh, the trees are starting to yellow up. The bracken has gone bright red, as you can see here. Um, this this whole area here, you have got these reds, and there's a bit of yellow in there and green in there as well. So that is really beautiful. But it's this little section of trees here on this tall uh, or cliff face, rock face, whatever it is. And if you look, I'm sort of, yeah, <laughs> quite on a, a, bit, a bit of a precipice at the minute. But I'm kind of focusing on this area. There's a lovely little channel of trees. I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but you've got this one tree that sort of comes up here to the right. And then you've got another tree that comes out of that rock and sort of peters off in the same direction, but going down. So you're creating a nice little sort of triangle there which is sort of, you know, rather nice. It always looks good. If I show you on the back of the camera, you can see the composition. That's the sort of composition I'm going for. I've done a portrait version of that as well, but um, we'll see which one turns out best. I just like, this just, just, it's just a nice shape. You've got the nice angles, you've got nice diagonals going on. So you've got the diagonal of the tree going um, top right to bottom left. You've got the diagonal of the rocks going top left to bottom right. And you've just got these nice little triangles and these formulations of trees in the middle of it all as well. So it just creates a nice little composition. I really like quite like this. It's difficult to shoot. <laughs> I'm at ISO 1000 at the minute. Oh, and once again, the timer goes off because the camera goes into sleep mode. Uh, we're just going to get this shot now. Wait for the timer and wait for the shot and yep. So look at that on the back of the camera. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, we'll edit that up in Lightroom. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next composition. There is another one that I want to look at and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. I've got a lovely composition here. As you can see, these two trees that form a triangle and then you've got that tree and the tree this side here. Uh, difficult to see it on the back here without my glasses. There's another tree here that frames it. I'll show you on the back of the camera, it's probably easier that way. So that's the composition I'm going for. And it was just a minute ago, and it's just coming again now. <laughs> it was some spectacular light. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to come through. It's just brightening up now. I just wanna make sure I'm not overexposing. So I'm gonna just drop that down a bit more. But that light was coming through there and it was lighting up all this bracken. Beautiful, that's just beautiful now, actually. Sorry, I'm just gonna get this shot. That is so soft, that light is really, really nice. Oh, that's stunning. It almost looks like there's a bit of mist coming in as well, which is nice. Oh, I'm going to have to get another one. Let's bag that one there. Oh, look at that light. <laughs> that's what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Absolutely stunning. Let's bag another one. That's a really nice scene, actually. Literally, I've walked through this this morning. I hadn't even noticed. Only when I... This is always a good, a good tip for you, is um, always look back. So when you're walking through places, always turn around and look back, because sometimes you'd be quite surprised. You might not see it walking forward, but when you turn around and look back at it, it sometimes it, a scene will just pop out to you, and that's exactly what's happened here this morning. Oh, this is epic. Just gonna, hang on, let's just get my bearings i want to be underexposed never so slightly i don't want to overblow out those highlights those gorgeous lights here it comes again oh that's creating so many layers in the shot that is beautiful backlighting the trees 
lighting up that bracken. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, this is what it's all about. Yes. Right. Well, I might stay here for a little bit longer and try and get some more shots of this. Um, you'll see me at the end of the video. Oh, look at it now, look at it now, look at it now, look at it now. Woohoo! Mystical. Absolutely beautiful, that is. Right. Yeah, and there's some mist. You can see there's some mist in the background as well. So I think what's happening now is that where we've had all this rain and the sun's starting to come out, it's going to start vaporizing that water that's on around and we're going to get some nice mist coming in. So I'm going to head down to where Dave is because he said there's some really nice light around there. And uh, well, I might actually give him a ring and tell him to get his ass up here because I think the light up here is going to be better. But anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Jesus wept. Yeah, so this is a. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Um, so I need you to do this question. Okay. Are you going to go in half with me on a mist machine? Half with you on a mist machine? <laughs> okay. If we bring one out, we can get rid of that in camera. One of us stand in the background and go. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, if you stand at like this spot, you wouldn't need much. Really? And it would light ray the. Well, how heavy is one of these things? Well, you can carry it. <laughs> so you got half, but I got to carry it. Yeah, that's it. So I pay for half of it. Yeah, I got to carry it. You've lost another spike, by the way. Okay. You've lost another spike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only when we're walking, right? I only have to carry it when we're walking. Yeah, okay. okay. Another one, another one of Dave's epic ideas. <laughs> Am I in what? I'm not fucking getting this machine, mate. <laughs> I got a mate in the movie business. He could probably lend me one if I needed one. Yeah, sure. Huh? I'm honestly, <laughs> to a place like this, you wouldn't need much. I was thinking you were on about one of those little pocket one things that we saw at the photography show. <laughs> well, apparently they were right. Yeah, I think they're more for uh, studio. studio work than they're out here, aren't they? You'd have to be pretty quick on the uh, <clears throat> smoke bombs, is what you want. Yeah, I don't think they're all done. A big petrol smoke machine is much more Oh. I like this tree. Look at the mushrooms going on that tr uh, br um, that trunk now. Yeah, it does look a bit like my knob, actually. Yeah, <laughs> lots of fungal growth. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> on that note. <laughs> This is what happens when you order a smoke machine off of wish.com. Anyway, on a more serious note, thanks very much for watching again. Really do appreciate it. Uh, the video is going to be shorter from now on in. I'm finding that uh, there's a big drop off after a certain amount of minutes watching. Now, I don't know if that's because the videos are too long and people get bored or whether they're just too long and people don't have the time to watch them, never come back to them again. I don't really know. So what I'm going to try and do is keep the, minute, uh, the videos to eight to 10 minutes long, maximum, and then we'll see where we go from there and just see if that works uh, and see if that helps as well. But I really do appreciate everyone watching. Please like, please subscribe. It really does help me, really does help the algorithms um, and makes me want to do more videos for you. Um, I got a week off, 
in next week. So I'll be doing lots of videos next week and hopefully uh, you'll get to see a lot more now in the, in the coming weeks. So look forward to editing them up and showing them to you. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it and we'll catch you next time.